In case you need a little help with Scene 4 and Life Fetch VR, I wanted to walk you through it. Now here we are inside the cockpit. You can look around with your VR headset, and the controls are pretty much the same for Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive. You have to think about the controls like this. You're flying a heavily damaged starfighter, the engines are shot, you're dropping like a rock, and this thing is really not meant to fly inside the atmosphere of a planet. So it's pretty sluggish, and it doesn't glide very well. So the basic controls are left and right on the trackpad is going to make the ship bank left and right like you see here. Down on the trackpad and, and on the control stick is going to make the nose pull up. So that's how you want to get up, right? So sometimes you feel like you're crashing like a rock. You want to just pull back on that stick and that's going to lift the nose up and get you that little bit of extra altitude that you need. Again, that's down on the trackpad to raise the nose. Up on the trackpad will force the nose down, although there's very few situations where that's going to be necessary. Now, after playtesting this hundreds of times, what I find is I'll bank the ship. So you'll see I'll push left to right, that'll rotate the ship slightly, and then by pushing down, I kind of swing into that curve. So here you'll see I'll turn left, and now I'm going to push down, and that's going to ease that nose of that ship right into that circle. Here we're going to level out. You can just kind of drift, tap the nose up a little, hit it, and now we're going to push right on the stick. That's going to swing you around. Now I'm going to lift up that nose, get it in there. Boom. Here's another one. I'm going to just bank a little, turn a little, and then hit it. I hope that helps a lot. It's a challenging level, but it sure is satisfying when you make it.